Want to make an afghan one block at a time? Join me and we can make one together. Thank you for joining me on the journey to make an afghan together block by block. This video series takes 16 different afghan squares three of each of the same square, but each square of, that, of those three are a different shade of gray. You can pick your own colors, but I have the links to the three grays that I use down below. In the end, I will show you how to join the squares and finish off your afghan. In just a few short weeks, we will have a completed afghan. I want to make sure I give credit. Uh, the blocks are all a modification and a different version of patterns that I got from this uh, pattern that I had since 1997. So I don't believe it's in print anymore, but I wanted to make sure credit was given uh, to the original designer. Okay, so for this block, we are actually doing a square. It's the only square in the whole afghan. And so this one uh, is not going to go back and forth. It is truly making a square. So we're going to start with our slip knot over your index finger and thumb. I give it a twist and I draw up my yarn and I have my size J crochet hook. And so for the afghan square, you're going to start by chaining eight and we're going to form a ring. So then to form the ring, just go back to stitch number one, insert your hook, and draw back your yarn. Now to start, we start with a cluster. So we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and we are going to then work a cluster, which means you're gonna yarn over, and you're going to go through your loop, your, your ring, and draw up your yarn, and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through your ring, draw through two on your hook. Now we have three loops on our hook. We yarn over and we draw through all three. That's what you call a beginning cluster. Chain five, after you made your beginning cluster, chain five. Now we're going to just work a cluster. So to do a cluster, you're going to yarn over, go into your, your ring, draw through two, Yarn over, go through your ring, draw through two. Yarn over, go through your ring, and draw through two. At this point, you have four on your hook. So you draw through all four. So here, they look very similar, but your chain three makes up part of your beginning cluster, and here is a cluster. So after your first cl uh, full cluster, we chain two, and we do another cluster. So yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, and draw through two, yarn over, and draw through all. Chain five, and do this process again. We're gonna do two more clusters with a chain two in between. And when possible, the beginning uh, tail, uh, try to hide it in your center ring uh, chain. So you can see I'm, I'm kind of holding it there to try to encase it in your stitches. So here's our second cluster. Draw through all. So we have chain five, cluster, chain two, cluster. Chain five, cluster, chain two, cluster and we're going to do the same over here. We're gonna do five and two clusters with two chains in between. It's getting really close. So now we have to chain five. We're going to do a cluster here. And to connect to the one before, we're gonna chain two and we're just going to do a slip stitch in the big top of the beginning chain there. So you just insert your hook and draw back. So there you have round number one. We're gonna do uh, five rounds total. 
So here's round number two. We need to get our um, stitch over here to this chain five place. So you're not doing a stitch, you're just doing a slip stitch across to get your hook over here. And so now we're in a position to where we can start. And to start round two, we are going to chain three and we're going to do a beginning cluster. And remember, a beginning cluster, you stop when you have three on your hook and we draw through all three. We're going to chain three and do a full cluster. So how you have your corner here. Now we need to get to this spot here. So they're going to have us chain two and we're going to put three double crochets in that chain space of the round before. So three double crochets. and we're going to chain two and now we're back to making clusters that's the first one on the corner now we chain three we do the second one on the corner we need to get over to that um, place so we're going to do chain two three double crochets in the gap that we created on the round before. We need to get over to our corner so we're going to chain two so that we can do a cluster. A chain three and a cluster. We need to get to that center uh, gap there, so chain two, three double crochet, chain two, cluster, we're on the corner so we're going to chain three, do another cluster, Draw through all on the hook. Almost done with this side, so we're going to chain two to get to that center. So we have one, two, three, and a slip stitch in the top of your chain three that you started with. So here we are. We have three double crochets on each side and two clusters in each corner. Okay, again we need to travel over to that corner, so we're going to slip stitch a couple stitches to get our yarn over here to this corner. And we're going to again start with a beginning cluster, which is chain three. Draw through all on the hook, chain three again for the corner, and do another cluster. Now we need to travel over to this center spot, so we're going to chain two. And in this gap, on each of the gaps, we are going to put two double crochets. So there's a double crochet in, uh, two double crochets in that gap. Go ahead and put a double crochet in the top of each of those. So now we have five so far in a row. And we have this gap that needs to have two double crochets. We need a chain two to get over to the corner. Do a cluster. Draw through all four on the hook. Chain three for your corner. Do a cluster. We need to get over to our gap, so we're going to chain two. Do two double crochets. one double crochet in the top of the ones down below. So we have three to match up with those three. Two for the next gap. And we need to get to the corner. Chain two. Cluster. Chain three on your corner. And cluster.
So there it's half done and uh, you can continue this square all the way around just as you've done so far uh, chaining two to get to your gap and chain three on the corner. Okay we're at the end of that round we need to chain two and connect to the top of the chain three that we started with with just a slip stitch. So there we have the end of round three. So round four is and five are just identical so we'll go ahead once you have this rhythm down it's going to be super simple to remember so we're just going to travel over to our corner start with your beginning cluster always chain three on your corners do another cluster you need to get over to that gap so we're going to chain two in the gap we're going to add two double crochets double crochet in each of the ones down uh, on the previous round okay we're to a gap so we need to add two more there and we're to the corner so to get to the corner we need to chain, chain two to get to a cluster so there you have all that you need to know. You're going to continue the row in that same method. Chaining two to get to your gaps. Put two double crochets in your gaps and three chains on the corner. So finish round number four and finish round number five. Then we'll be ready to add the edging. Okay, this is nearing the end of the fifth round and I've just completed my stretch of double crochets. Going to chain two do a slip uh, stitch into the top of the beginning uh, chain and now this square is ready for your edging. To add a border on your squares with the same color we are going to do one border of single crochets and then we are going to switch to the color that you have chose to be your uh, joining color and in my case my joining color is the light gray so your first row around is the color of your square then we're going to finish it off and we're going to go join in with the color that you chose as your other your main color I should say so I have just completed the last stitch on this square all squares are going to be a little bit different but the process is the same so on the you finish your last stitch you're going to chain one in that last corner there you're going to put three single crochets now we are going down the end of your rows and we need to have 25 single crochets between this corner and the next corner so you just space them out evenly and each time I can promise you I've ripped them out uh, probably 50% of the time because um, each one is just a little different so I'm just going to show you my process so that's our corner and now you just start doing single crochets and count as you go so there's one, two, I'm going to do, put another one in that hole. There's three, four, five. I'm going to put another one in that hole. So that's six, seven, eight, nine in the same hole, ten, and eleven. 12. On 12 to 13-ish you should be close to halfway and it looks like we're pretty close. So that was 12, 13, 24 in the same hole and in this last hole we'll go number 25. Now we're up to the corner and in that corner you're going to put three single crochets. One, oh, there we go, two, and three. So now we have turned and we're going to go down this side. The beginning tail, I have wove it through this edge of the uh, square so it will now get caught into our single crochet. So we've done three and now we do the same process, 25 on this side. Okay, this is number 25 on my last side. 
So we have the each of the sides now have single crochets and at this point you just join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet that you started with. So just stick there you go I got it through both of the pieces of that uh, single crochet and a slip stitch is you just pull it through and pull it through. I'm going to cut my thread and then just pull through your string. And now I, at this point, so that I can catch that tail in my stitching, I feed it through that last edge. Now take the, your main color, which in, um, is my light color, and we are going to join it in the corner. Pick any of the corners, but just pick the middle of the three stitches. So here's one, two, three. So in the center one, insert your hook and draw up your yarn. Chain one. And in that same stitch, you're going to put three single crochets. Now we go on each side, but instead of 25 in between, we need to have 27. And this time it's a little bit easier because you are following the stitches from down below, but there have been many times because crafting is not perfect. There has been many times that I'll get to the end and I only have 26. So I'll back it off a little bit and I'll add one here to make sure I have 27. It's very important to have 27 on each side. Each square needs to be blocked. And so I am using a June Taylor cushioned uh, square blocker. So, but there's a lot of mats out there. I have the link uh, for this one down below. But you need to pin it onto a mat eight inches square. So each square needs to be pinned eight inches. And um, I have been putting my pins every inch along each of the sides. And after we get that done, then we can steam it to get it into shape. So I start by putting a pin in each corner at the 8 inch mark and pin on each side. And then just add a pin all the way around. Okay, I'm just going to use um, my personal iron set on the steam setting. Steam each one of them for a minute. So I have uh, my board, I have three of them on here. So I'm going to steam each one for a minute, come back and hit them for about another 20 seconds. And then when they cool down, I can remove the pins. Once they have cooled down and are uh, dry, just pull off your pins and uh, your square is blocked and ready to attach to make your afghan. You may want to join your blocks as you go, and I have a diagram um, on the blog, DIYOnTheHouse.com, uh, that you can print out. You can put them together in whatever order you want, because I did not want any of the same colors beside each other. So however you choose to put them together, to join them, you'll need a large eye uh, yarn needle. And I am going to join them with the light color, the same color as the second row of the edging on each of your squares. So just cut a piece, oh, roughly a yard long, and we will join it with this thread. And the reason we counted so uh, carefully to make sure there were 27 stitches on each side, this that'll make this process really easy. So to start the joining, Thread up a couple, uh, maybe an inch and a half, to hide your thread in the last row of stitching. And I'm just going to leave a tail like that. And then I have, um, following the pattern, I have my two pieces. 
I'm going to fold them wrong sides together and I'm going to match up the corners and it is just as simple as going through each from the bottom around to the top to the bottom to the top and do not pull them too tight just kinda nice and loose but not too loose okay there you can see the pattern that is um, going it just makes it all a nice diagonal a little stitch so go ahead and do your squares that way when you get to the end leave your tail long don't cut this off because you then can pick it up with um, your needle and join the next ones as you get them going so just leave your tails nice and long and you can join your squares as you get them done once you have sewn all of your squares together we need to put a border on the entire project so i'm going to show you how to do that i am going to use the same color that i joined all the squares with so in this pattern it is the light color and i don't like starting right on a corner so i'm going to go a few stitches before that just insert your hook draw through your thread drop your thread and I'm going to chain two so that's going to count as my first half double crochet and I'm going to do two rows all the way around of half double crochet so that's one in the next stitch loop over draw through draw through all three on the hook loop over draw through yep there we go and continue that and I started near a corner so you could see what I have to do when I get to a corner there we go okay this is the corner stitch we're going to put three half double crochets in the corner one two three now we're going down the other side and just continue a half double crochet all the way around your afghan okay and by putting those extra stitches in the corner it lays nice and flat so when you come around to this side we're just going to slip stitch in the top of the the first chain two uh, chain two again and do a second row and finish it off it'll just give it a nice solid border